Okay, my wonderful students, we are now in our activity book. We're in our activity book on page 45. So we are in our activity book on page 45. I would like for you to try to do page 45 first and then watch the video to correct it. So pause me. I'll wait for you, I will wait for you, and then we will correct it, okay? So pause me and then turn me on, turn me back on when you're ready to correct. Okay, see, I waited. All right, so you put these words up here into the conversation. There are two conversations here. Here's one and two, one and two. So the first one, the first one is, he's asking a question, is there an elevator in the building? Is there an elevator in the building? Yes, then what is it going to be? <laughs> so the answer is, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Then she asks another question. She asks another question. How many, so now it's count, how many closets, how many closets are there? How many closets are there? How many closets are there in the apartment? The answer, oops, the answer over here, the answer is, we have to look at this for a minute, a large closet. Now, is that singular or plural? A large closet. Correct, singular. So we need to use, so we need to use theirs. A, uh, because it is singular. Theirs, or there is, there's, there's a large closet in the bedroom and, hmm, what's going to be here? Because the next is two, is that singular or plural? Correct, it's plural, it's plural. So that needs to be, mm-hmm. There are, there are two small closets in the living room. Now for the second conversation, for the second conversation. Hmm, a jacuzzi. Now is this gonna be singular or plural? Correct, singular. So the question is going to be, the question is going to be, sorry, I wanna show you all the answers. Is there, is there, is there a jacuzzi in the bathroom? Is there a jacuzzi in the bathroom? And the answer is, it's gonna be singular. It's going to be singular. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. But but two air conditioners, two air conditioners, singular or plural? Hmm? Plural. But there are, but there are two air conditioners in the apartment. So number six, there isn't, but there are 
two air conditioners in the apartment. Okay, so now we need to look at the, the question. So it's mm-mm, any washing machines. Is that singular or plural? Plural, plural. So the question, so the question for number seven is, are there are? So we need to use are because plural washing machines. Oops, wrong one. Yes. Ah, uh, there we go. Are there because it's a question. So number seven, are there? Are there any washing machines in the building? Are there any washing machines in the building? And the answer is, and the answer is, no. Mm -hmm. No, there aren't, because machines, plural. No, there aren't. But, there's mm, laundromat. But there's, there is a laundromat across the street. There is a laundromat across the street. Oh, that one's mine. I just need yours. Number nine. Number nine. How many? How many? This is going to be count. How many windows? And it's going to be plural. Mm -hmm. Number nine is are there. How many windows are there? How many windows are there in the apartment? And the answer is, and the answer is, mm-mm, three. Correct. It's going to be plural. It's going to be plural. There are, so number 10, number 10, there are three windows. There are three windows in the living room. And mm, one. That's singular. So we need to use theirs. So number 10, theirs. One window in the bedroom. So number nine, how many windows are there? So number nine, how many windows are there in the apartment? And the answer is, there are three windows in the living room. And there's one window in the bedroom. Whew. That was a lot of work. Thank you very much.